Hello everyone, welcome back. Please come and subscribe, folks. Come and subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to down below. It has all of my YouTube pages, social media. Please go down there. Follow me across all my uh, social media and also subscribe to my YouTube pages and turn your notifications for those pages as well so that when I post content, you folks will be in the know. I'll also be live streaming as well, uh, you know, during the game on Sunday. So please, you know, stop on by this channel. You know what I'm saying? We definitely going to have a lot of fun and, uh, we, you know, we're going to enjoy ourselves watching this game. So with that said and put to the side, I want to talk to you folks about Pirine and Ficken uh, being put on the IR. You look at the situation, uh, P. Ryan, a young back that we were all pretty excited about coming into the season. Uh, you know, we wanted to see what he could bring again. You know, at the season, we all know we started with Le'Veon Bell. We ended up, you know, getting rid of him, you know, cutting him eventually during the season as well. Uh, but we were all really intrigued with what P. Ryan could bring to the table. Uh, he was a guy we drafted out. He's got a little bit of speed on him. We all said, hey, he's, you know, he may be able to catch football out the backfield as well. But we were all frustrated with his usage. Um, and this was before Le'Veon was cut. After Le'Veon was cut, there was a narrative put out by Adam Gaze that now P. Ryan was going to get more carries and P. Ryan was going to get all this stuff. And we still saw him out snapped and, you know, also given more, um, given less opportunities in the passing game than Frank Gore. Uh, we consistently <laughs> talked about Frank Gore just being ran into the ground. He's almost a 40 year old running back. Why are we still running Frank Gore the way? that we are when we have P. Ryan sitting on the bench. It's just, it's completely ridiculous. Um, so now, P. Ryan dealing with the injury. He's been put on IR. So now, you know, this gives Adam Gaze just even more, you know, <laughs> even more go ahead to just continue to run with Frank Gore, run him into the ground. We know we got Ty Johnson as well. I'm guessing he'll sprinkle a little bit of Ty Johnson in there from here, here and there. Um, Adams is also, uh, you know, behind uh, behind uh, Ty Johnson on that uh, running back depth chart too. But I fully expect Frank Gore to just continue to get all the carries, continue to get a bulk of the um, opportunities in the passing game as well. So it sucks, but you know, I, I have I have hope that next year P. Ryan will come back and he'll really be able to get his you know footing set with another, hopefully a, a brand new head coach that we're going to bring in because I think this guy has talent. I truly, truly do, and I think that he can be effective if given the football and if given a real opportunity to be put in a position to make more plays. I think he, he think he's got something. I really, really do. So, uh, you know, I want to see him on a different offense. But um, he's going to be on an IR. Uh, next guy that's going to be on an IR as well is Ficken, our old kicker. <sighs> this was tough, man. Watching Ficken come back in the last game, uh, now let me tell you something. He did not look good. It looked like he... You know, either was still dealing with that injury or just didn't have it. He missed some extra points. Just didn't look good in the situation. We were all wondering, why is this guy playing? Why do, Why is this guy even out here? He doesn't look like, you know, he, he's not better than the kicker we had before uh, that, you know, replaced him in his, in his absence while he was dealing with that injury. Why is he out here when it looks like he still is injured and still is dealing with that injury? You know, what is the point? Well, they go ahead and put uh, Ficken on IR as well. So now Sergio Castillo comes back in, and this is a guy that we were kind of raving about before he was put on the bench when Ficken was brought back because Castillo is a guy that was hitting kicks. This guy was like six for seven uh, on the season. Uh, he had kicked some pretty long field goals as well and was able to hit those. The only field goal he actually missed this season was blocked. So, you know, if he would have hit that one, he would have been seven for seven if that hadn't been blocked. This kid was really doing some big things here. So getting him back, you know, in the fold because Ficken is now on the IR is actually a thumbs up and a plus for us because this guy, you know, maybe have a future here. He may truly have one. So, uh, you know, I like I like that he's coming back because we were all excited about him. He looked really good this season. So we'll see how, you know, he continues to play out this season. So. I want you folks, please, again, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos, uh, give it a thumbs up as well. Let me know what your thoughts are on P. Ryan hitting the IR. Let me know what your thoughts are on, you know, Ficken hitting the IR. How do you feel about Castillo coming in? Uh, what are your thoughts on how, you know, you think the Jets will continue to handle the running back situation? Do you think, you know, again, Gore will pretty much get a bulk of the carries? Or are you a, a, a person that looks at the situation and says, hey, maybe Ty Johnson is more of a gaze back, you know, or something like that? Maybe gaze will give him 
you know, the shot that P. Ryan wasn't getting at all. So, you know, let me know what you folks think about this one. You folks have a good one. Peace.